next speaker is not only an extremely effective campaigner for peace and justice, he's also extremely and brutally funny. Please welcome Mark Thomas. Hello everyone. And uh, thank you all for coming out. This absolutely looks fantastic seeing this magnificent crowd here. I'm here because what we represent is democracy. That's what we represent. Tony Blair is going and we all say, great, that's fantastic, but rather like an ill-mannered flatulent pig, he's leaving his stench in the room for us to clean up after him. And Tony Blair is concerned with his legacy, and let me tell you what that legacy will be. He will be remembered for cash for peerages. And incidentally, I've managed to get a petition up on the Downing Street website calling for Tony Blair to standardise the sale of peerages and make all peerages a quid a go. Okay, so you get, apart from OBEs, which are 50p, because I think Phil Collins has got one of those and it brings the price down somewhat. So you can get on and sign on to that. But what Blair will be remembered above all else is the Iraq War. He will be remembered for creating havoc. He will be remembered for putting British troops into harm's way, for throwing petrol on the flames of the creation of terrorism. He will be remembered for sponsoring Al-Qaeda. He will be remembered for ignoring British people's will. He will be remembered for undemocratic actions. He will be remembered for doing all of this at the whim of an American president who has exported terror around the world and the rule of the gun. He will be remembered for that and for having those weird free holidays with his wife Cherie, with Berlusconi and BG people. He will also be remembered for trying to foist Trident upon us. And some people say, what's wrong with Trident? Well, the fact that it is the name of the devil's tool of choice should be a hint that it's wrong. What's wrong with Trident is it's going to cost us between 25 and 75 billion pounds, money which could be spent on education, money that could be spent on health, money that could be spent bailing out the Olympics when it all goes belly up in 2012. What's wrong with Trident? Well, it's very hard to have any moral integrity and ask Iran not to develop nuclear weapons when you're rearming your own nuclear arsenal. What's wrong with Trident? It's an outdated system. It was there to fight the Cold War. Missiles that we had were supposed to protect us because any other state that launched a missile attack on us, we would launch a call on them. And therefore mutual assured destruction would make sure no one attacked. However, what was the last nuclear attack in Britain? Polonium in a sushi bar. I hardly think Trident is the answer to deal with the tuna rice nuclear threat that we face. I'm here to say that doesn't matter who's in Parliament or who's in number 10 when Blair goes, doesn't matter if it's Cameron or Brown, there's one thing that we need to do, and that is keep turning up here, keep campaigning while there is one